Let's begin by creating a new message in a text frame. Click on the New File button to open a new message. Highlight the display type you have and then click OK. In this example, we are using a Galaxy 48 by 96 RGB 32,000 colors. In the new text frame, type in, for instance, Welcome Racers in different lines. If the text is not aligned where you like, use the alignment buttons to align the text horizontally or vertically. For our example, we'll use the center top alignment. Place the cursor in front of the first character and press enter to bring the text down one line at a time. To make the text move up again one line at a time, press the backspace key in your keyboard. If the default font is not the one you like, highlight the text, open the font menu, and select the font you prefer. Let's choose for this example font sans serif 9. The text now looks thicker and more visible than with a smaller font. The last change we'll apply is the color or shade. Bear in mind that some displays offer a variety of colors, but others may only offer a selection of shades of two colors. The options available for your particular display will appear on the color palette. Again, with the text highlighted, click on the down arrow next to the text color button to open the color palette and choose the color you prefer. Finally, unhighlight the text in the frame and you will be able to see the changes you applied. Once you created the message the way you like, don't forget to save the message. To do so, open the file menu and select Save. In the Save Message dialog box, click on the plus sign next to the display type to open the library containing the folders Animate and Default. The first one contains the animations you imported, and the second is a default folder where you can save your own messages. Click then on the default folder and in the file name field, enter the name for the message. In our example, we'll name it Welcome. Then click on Save. You'll go back to your message automatically, and at the top of the frame, you will be able to read the information for the message you just saved. Default indicates the folder the message is saved in. Welcome is the name you gave to the message, and the rest shows the display type you saved the message in. This last piece of information is especially useful when you have more than one display. For your own organization purposes, we recommend that you create different folders for different kinds of messages. For example, you may be creating messages that relate to summer sales, or winter sales, or to welcome messages. So if you create folders that contain only certain messages, you'll be able to locate them better. To see how this works, we'll create another message. Click on the New File button to open a new message. Highlight the display type you have and then click OK. In this example, we're using a Galaxy 48 by 96 RGB 32,000 colors. In a text frame, type in two lines, Sports Clothes Sales. Open the File menu and select Save. When the Save Message window opens, click on the New Folder icon. On the left-hand side of the window, you will see that a new O1 folder has been activated. You can either keep that name or rename it simply by typing inside that box the new name. For example, name it Summer Sales. However, when you click on the File Name field to name the message, Another window will open indicated that there are certain restrictions for naming folders, such as the use of some characters and spaces, or the folder name length. So click on OK to adjust the name of this folder to some sales as one word. To do this, highlight the new O1 folder, and then click on it again to activate the box around it for you to start typing in it. Then. Name the file Sports Clothes. Finally,
click on save and the message will be automatically saved in the sum sales folder.